In this video, we are asked to find local maximum and minimum values in a single point if there are any. The beginning of the problems like this are always is always the same. We find partial derivatives. Just like in calculus one, we start with differentiating. But in this case, we have several derivatives. That's why we call them partial derivatives. Derivative with respect to x is 2x minus y plus 0, y squared gives you 0, minus 9, comes from minus 9x, plus 0, and plus 0. Derivative with respect to y will be 0, minus x, plus 2y, minus 0, plus 6, plus 0. And this is your system. Set e each equal to 0, and d and e, in this case only 0, we need to solve this system now. So we're looking over here. In this box at this box and now there's several ways to solve it either you can solve for y for example here and plug it over here that's called substitution method or you can do elimination method if you want whatever you feel like i will solve for y from the first equation y seems to be 2x minus 9. i'll put it in the box because later i will need it to find y's plug it into second equation and I will get minus x plus 2, 2x minus 9 plus 6 equals to 0. Simplify, 4x minus 18 plus 6 equals to 0. Simplify more, 3x minus 12 equals to 0. Simplify more, x will be 3x equals 12, x is 4. Nice. If x is 4, the corresponding y will be coming from the green box over there in the top 2x minus 9 which is minus 1 minus 1 found it so that's the only critical point we have seems like that so the only critical point we found was 4 at minus 1 that's it we could even find the output of that critical point but we will do it at the end if this point is actually important now the derivative test starts and to do that we need to build our d if you remember determinant is built from the second partial derivatives x x and y y x y and y x like so some people memorize which i don't like personally it will be product of x x and y y minus a squared x y squared and because for continuous uh, functions these two will be the same minus sign comes from the definition of the determinant for matrices two by two so i need this information which we don't have let me find partial derivative with respect to x x Partial derivative with respect to y, y. Actually, I would recommend to do x, y, y yielding the same equation. And then switch to y, y. To do that, I need to go back and see what are my partial derivatives. In the blue box, I see them. f with respect to x. This first variable tells me where to look. I'm looking at this first equation. Now I'm doing differentiation with respect to x one more time. 2x gives me 2. Everything else is 0. The same equation, but now differentiate with respect to y. 0, minus 1, and minus 0. Now look at the equation with respect to y, which is this one, and differentiate with respect to x. It will be minus 1. And that matched with whatever we had here. But with respect to y, that will be 2. That's the other second partial derivative we needed. So 2 minus 1 and 2, d will be x, x is 2, y, y is 2, minus 1 and minus 1, cross product, which is 4, don't forget negative sign, minus, minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1. So it's going to be 3. Number is not important, the sign of this number is important. So we can only say that... This was step two, analyzing the sign, that's called step three. So D is positive, then no saddle points. 
Remember, if it's negative, you immediately have a settle point. Since it's positive, we don't really know if it's maximum or minimum. To check that, we need to check this number. I'll put it in blue. Why this number? Because fxx gives me the second derivative test result. fxx sign. So I don't care about the number again. I just care about the sign. If both of them are positive, then we will say that it is minimum. How to memorize this? Uh, positive, the first determinant, the determinant was positive, and the second derivative is positive. Then it's a smiley face, and you have global minimum, like so. The first derivative is positive, but then f of x is negative. Then it's maximum, because it's going to be concave down, and it's going to be local maximum. And if both are negative, it's so sad, sad, that it is sad dull point. <laughs> Kind of that's kind of a funny way to memorize these three cases. We did not use to have settle point before in um, two dimensions, but as you can see, it gets more interesting in upper dimensions. So we, in this case, gonna conclude the answer. The point which we already know what is that point four and minus one. 4 and minus 1 is my local minimum. Local minimum. Now, sometimes we ask you to actually find the height of that local minimum. Then you need to plug into the original function. So f at 4 and minus 1 will be, I'm going back to the very original function, here it is, x squared minus xy plus y squared minus 9x plus 6y plus 10. And that will give me minus 11. So that is the height of that local minimum. So the point is 4 minus 1 and minus 11. Local minimum point. And that's how you work with problems like this. Watch more videos where we're gonna have examples for the settle point and maximum. Because uh, examples are nice when we have all three cases. But to have that, you have to have three critical points. So check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.